Wow, the experience. An incredible encounter with God himself. Literally, earth capturing heaven's heartbeat. To get mankind to experience God to the point where the veils that shield us from a pure perception of all that he is are taken away so that we can really encounter God. In Africa, we understand that altars are gateways that bridge between the natural and the supernatural and brings a covering of darkness under which every kind of iniquity and corruption and vice and vile evil can thrive. And our job as the Lord's New Testament priesthood, a royal priesthood, is to close down those altars and open up new altars or gateways by which the Lord can come in. He can subdue any force or foe whenever he wants to. And we think he did that. Uh, because he tabernacles in the praises of his people and where he's present, the presence of evil finds it very difficult to thrive. Now lift your hands up, everybody, wherever you are. Everybody say with me, say, Lord. Lord. Shout it, say, Lord. Lord. On behalf of myself and this nation, The forces of darkness, covenants and agreements, pronouncements and declarations, all tasks of blood that are holding this nation from becoming what you have ordained today by the authority of heaven, we command them destroyed. As we stand in this audience, Lord, that you begin to raise up leaders, Lord, from the depth of Rwanda, from the pains of Soweto, from the tears of Lagos, we decree as men of God, we stand in partnership, Lord, with this worship audience, and we declare that Africa shall arise, Lord, from the pit of poverty to the palace of prosperity. I came to preach to about 500,000 Nigerians, or for wherever you are from, that the gate that has been closed for so long is about to open in your very presence. Baby, your legs are about to get strength. Your life is about to get courage. Your head's about to turn straight. You're about to see things you've never seen and hear things you've never heard and know things you've never known. Shut the doors about to open. Apart from being evangelistic, it's a unifier for the church. You have everything from the far right of the church, the far left of the church, the center, the centrists, all participating together, loving on each other's necks, worshiping together, dancing, praising together, holding hands together, binding and loosing together, trusting God together, sharing the ecstasy of the sheer moment of God's de glory descending severally on, on the arena. And an experience is meant to unfold the manifold wisdom, greatness, glory of God till we behold him to the point where we are captured by him and uh, we are released from the things that shackle us to the mundaneness of just an earthly lifestyle with its many temptations, trials, and sins. been a whirlwind of an experience. It's an experience, a unique one. It's off the hook. You can't buy that. You really gotta be here. Awesome! Come experience God.